this is my first time parking my Tesla at the airport for an extended period of time for exactly 12 days. So I'm parked and I am starting with 253 kilometers. For the next 12 days, I turn everything off, including the sentry mood, as well as cancel the app running. I haven't forgotten about my Tesla yet. It has been exactly 11 days since I left my car at the airport. And now I'm gonna check how much battery it is still remaining on the car and if I still have enough uh, battery to drive back home. I am opening up the app. So I am connecting through the Wi-Fi to the car. It, it will take a little bit because I really haven't uh, touched this app for 11 days, so it's gonna take a little bit to initiate. Oh my god, 249? That's only four kilometers that was lost during the entire 11 days of parking at the airport. Wow. I am absolutely shocked. I just came back from Mexico two days ago and today on my Tesla app, I received a notification saying the newest update is ready to be installed. It is update 2020.12.320. Initially when I saw it, I was just like, okay, another update. And then I went online to do a quick search to see what this package contains. Then I was jumping out of my chair because this is FSD beta. I'm more than happier to see the wait for me is finally over and I can't wait to test it out. As a reference, I have had my Model 3 for a year and a half and my current safety score is at 96. I don't know about the rest of you, but I feel I'm pretty late to be included in the FSD beta. Leave a comment below if any of you have received this much earlier or you're still waiting to be part of the FSD team. All right, let's take a look. All right, so I'm doing, oh, there's cars. I'm doing my first FSD beta testing. And we're going to go to Planet Fitness. So far, so good. So that's one thing I was wondering in my earlier Tesla um, versions that the park cars on the side. Okay, that seems to be the close. Okay, <laughs> but still within my comfort zone. <laughs> Stop sign, no issues. It's the distance with the parked cars on the side of the residential road. That always do to be my one of my like pet peeve. Way too close. Okay, now it's continuing after stop sign. I think on this residential road it is trying to navigate, right? When there's no parked cars, it's due in the middle of the road, right? Yes, because it's right in the center. But I do think when there are parked cars, it is going to move slightly to the left yep. to avoid it. Like, look at the stop sign. Perfect. But this is a residential area. It's moving, passing stop signs. And it's speeding. <laughs> oh my god. This is kind of cool. <laughs> Okay, our uh, traffic light. Oh, oh, it's, it's recognizing it's yellow. That's good. Because I kind of want to see next time when there's no cars around me and we're approaching an uh, intersection if it's going to stop. Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited for left turns. <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely seeing more cars because in the previous uh, uh, FSD, you pretty much can only see what is you know on the road in front of you, right? Yeah. But now it's like recognizing the cars even in the parking lots, like way over there, right? Yeah. Okay, there's a really challenging test here because once we, what? Okay, once the lights turns green. 
Um, oh, see, it's left turn. It's not moving. <laughs> so something's very challenging up ahead because once we move over in direction, there's actually the road actually split into two lanes. The car starts so. <laughs> Oh my god, it moved smoothly into the right lane once we crossed the intersection. <laughs> okay, that's a little too fast. We're gonna slow down a little bit, but the curve is very smooth. I guess we lane now. Okay. And the other challenging part about this road is that there's always parked cars on the side of the road. Let's see what it's gonna do. It's it's stopping. A signal left, and then it did a uh, lane change. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, good stuff. After it passed the park cars, now it stay in the left lane, and uh, it has no intention to switch over to the slower lane yet. But I'm cool with that. <laughs> Another intersection. Why is not moving? Okay, that's not good. It didn't, right? Yeah. It stopped. It stopped. It slowed down and then appeared to stop in front of the light, red lights. Ooh. Okay, so I did the same thing. Once there's a car that's stopping in front of you, it did a lane change to avoid it. Oh my God, so that slow down to that uh, vehicle is much uh, much better, right, than yeah. before. It used to be like just a slam on the brake. If you notice a car is slowing down in front of you, especially when that car is doing a right turn, because it thinks the car pretty much stopped, right? Mm -hmm. And then the old FSD, oh, automatic cleaning windshield. Dirty. Oh. Is that, <laughs> <laughs> Is that the part of it? Oh my god. So the other thing, like, there's some, well, we're stopping for in front of right light. Um, there was a message saying my windshield's dirty. <laughs> and the next thing is that it is start cleaning my face shield automatically. <laughs> that is funny. Okay. Oh, the other thing about intersection because uh, the destination is actually on the left side, left hand side. Once we cross this intersection, and it, before crossing, there are two lanes, actually three lanes. But anyways, the lanes to our left, it is actually the left turn lane. So I'm surprised I, it didn't choose that lane. But instead of staying the lane, that's going to uh, cross this intersection straight. Yeah. Right, here we go. Here we go. The car in front of us started moving. Now we're also crossing the section. Okay. Now it's the challenging part. It has to know to move to the right left lane. Good stuff. Those cars are stopping from and then it's making a left turn to go into the plaza. Oh, this is little. It didn't make a left turn. And where are you going now? Oh, okay. That's kind of the end of our testing. First attempt to go to my first testing destination didn't work because uh, the very last step, uh, oh shoot, because I, I turned it too, too hard. Um, because the last step the car needs to do is just make a, a right left turn. And the situation was pretty clear for it to do that, right? Okay, left, right turn. It was pretty clear. All Tesla, okay, all this FS thing to do was make a left turn, right? And it was pretty clear. It could go right away. It's crossing detection. Or it can wait for that like truck to uh, to go over and then make the turn. It's pretty clear. I don't know why it's hesitating and not make that turn. Just do it. Just, 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 do, it. just do it. Oh! <laughs> Okay. I think that's it for this. Okay, my first testing. Everything seemed to be okay. Like passing park cars, passing cars in front of you, like going through intersections, not too bad. But uh, the FSD beta does seem to be hesitating when it's making a left turn into a parking lot and then where there's a cars approaching, 
right, incoming car. So I think that's where it met hesitation. The first time it didn't make left turn at all. And the second time it made a very hesitant turn. Like it tried to turn, but you know, tried to stir back and try to turn again, try to stir back, but eventually made a left turn. Um, that turn was a fail. <laughs> I, I had a lot of fun doing that. I know my passenger isn't feeling the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go home. <laughs>